what is up aries welcome to your general timeless reading these are timeless so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you these are also general so take what resonates leave the rest my name is jordan i'm a master reiki practitioner and i also offer personal readings so if you want to book any kind of session with me you can do so down below through my website in the description box also, if you want to join our Patreon family, I am giving away free 15-minute readings to all brand new and upgrading tier 3 and 4 patrons now through the end of July. So go ahead, check that out. That's where I do the monthly readings, energy shift readings, moon cycle readings, and weekly Patreon-only videos. So yeah, I talk a lot about ascension, spiritual path, a lot of mentoring on that platform. So if you're looking for some guidance, that's definitely the platform for you. Um, check out my Vimeo as well. That's where I take those monthlies and I post them there. So if you want to purchase your individual monthly reading, you can check that out. And like, share, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Helps the channel grow. I greatly appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can see when I post and when I go live. Let's get into it. Let's see what goodies we got for you, Aries. Um, let's use Marchetti Tarot. Marchetti Tarot. All the tarot decks I use are going to be linked down below for you guys. Okay. Show you what I almost need to see for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for Aries. They're actually showing me a lot of water. I feel actually the need to say inconsistency. I feel like you're, you're searching for a sense of stability right now because they showed me the Four of Wands as well. So if things have felt really inconsistent lately, whether it be within a relationship or just within your own personal life, it's a need to find that balance, find that sense of a four of wands, that sense of stability, that solid foundation, or be able to find your foundation. What do you need in order to create that foundation for yourself right now? For Aries. There's the eight of wands and the page of pentacles. Yeah. So the Eight of Wands speaks to fast action, movement forward, and the Page of Pentacles is this energy of, I want to build solid foundations. I want to learn how to create, because pages are students, right? It's also messengers. You might literally be communicating with somebody about how to, some of you, this is, not all of you, but majority of the collective, this is going to play out in regards to relationships, especially with, I know it's a timeless reading, but we have a lot of Cancer Leo energy going on right now. Um... And because of that, there's going to be a lot of passionate energy about people trying to resolve conflict or fix foundations in regards to their relationships. And it's kind of the universe's way of saying, if this isn't working for you, it's got to go or you need to repair it. And it's all in the name of finding a very solid, stable foundation in order for us to step into a new way of being as a collective. One that's going to last the test of time. That's very beneficial. I like this page of pentacles energy is very grounded very earthy energy it's also gonna i feel like this is coming toward you though i don't feel like this is you grasping towards this i think you've been trying to grasp towards this and it's and it just has not been working i feel like this is actually going to come towards you if you allow yourself to just stop reaching so hard to be quite honest the ten of pentacles almost just came out yeah, four swords in reverse, and the two of wands, which is literally a man reaching in it in this particular deck. There's a need to step back, right? The four swords in reverse tells me that you've been overdoing it. You've been overdoing it. There's a push, too much of a push, and it's almost like you're pushing out of feminine energy, which is distorted feminine energy, because we push, we create for masculine energy. We've been talking about the collective being in a lot of masculine energy. This feels like feminine energy though. It feels like I'm really trying to nurture a project. I'm really trying to pull something in my reality toward me, manifest it and call it and call it in. But it feels like in a very aggressive, like forceful manner, it feels like distorted feminine in a sense. There's a need to truly sit back, relax and allow this to come to you because it's almost like this push is coming out of a fear of not, not receiving it. Yeah. And then we have the two of swords between the nine and the two of swords is a seven of swords energy which speaks to self-sabotage 
Um, it also speaks to deception, right? Not not seeing your true potential, your true power, especially with the magician peeking out of the deck here. Magician in reverse. It speaks to you, it speaks to not manifesting properly. It's a misuse of your power. It's a misuse of your energy, a misuse of your feminine energy. It's time to use your masculine energy in a proper way, right? So whether this is you and another person um, in a relationship, one person using their feminine energy incorrectly and another person trying to compensate and be the masculine and feminine in a very balanced manner, or both of you just using your energy improperly and one person pushing out of feminine and one person trying to receive out of masculine when in all reality it's actually supposed to be the opposite. We receive in feminine and we push and build and create in our masculine energy. That's the proper way. Um, feminine energy is very present. It's very receptive. So that's really what this feels like. Somebody almost trying to compensate for the lack or imbalance within themselves or within a dynamic with another person. Okay, and it's wanting to fix that. Yep, bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. So this could be a parent to child situation. It could be you literally looking at your past foundations because the Six of Cups is indicative of the past. Or yes, it could be something involving a soulmate. So take whatever resonates because yes, it is all three situations. Because remember, this is a collective reading. Um, I heard Soul Tribe. Um, so this could be happening between you and a friend. It does not have to be romantic. I'm going to be using Manga Tarot. I'm not clarifying all the cards. Actually, I was just told not to clarify all the cards. I really want to jump right to this Page of Pentacles. This feels like repairs. The Page of Pentacles feels like repairs. I don't feel that if you're if you're dealing with somebody else, I really don't feel that this connection's ending. I feel like you're literally looking at it like, okay, what do we need to fix? What do I need to focus on within me? Some of you, you're fixing your sense of codependency or... Um, the way you communicate in order to have it, it's just foundations it's very stable it's stable it's, it has to do with stability it really ha it's all revolving around stability here because things have felt very wishy-washy because they keep showing me water very wishy-washy and it's almost this sense of like emotional roller coaster let's look at this page of pentacles for aries yeah, the star. It's all in divine time. Star speaks to alignment. It speaks to divine timing to me. Um, I just heard special circumstances. What's this? Okay. I thought it was poking out. It's not. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have death. Okay. I'm not taking the whole stack. I only take the ones on top. So you have two majors on top of this. This ending of this foundation is supposed to happen right now. Divine timing. With the star and death, Scorpio energy, Aquarius energy with the star card. I really, really like this energy, especially the fact that it's two major arcana cards. That speaks to the universe literally pushing you into a new cycle, whether this be within yourself, learning how to balance your masculine and feminine energy properly, learning how to not give so much of yourself to other areas of your life and stop putting all of it into a relationship or putting all of it into work, learning to properly say, okay, 30% of me goes here. 33% goes here and 33% goes here and whatever percentage I didn't properly calculate goes over here. Okay? Cool. 33, 33, 33 and whatever. One. Who knows? Okay. Um, let's look at this four swords. Actually, let's look at eight of wands. I want to see what's coming in quickly to you. This feels like another person though. This feels like another person. This feels like communication. Nope, tower. I like it. Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. Yep. So there's the other person. There's the shift in the energy. It's the offer. It's the offer. This feels like the communication. I feel um, For some of you, this could be you. Because remember, if you're new to tarot or not new to tarot, check out how to interpret tarot as a viewer. Because this does not have to be another person. This could be you initiating this tower moment. But whoever this King of Cups energy is, whether this is your own energy, your masculine energy, realizing, okay... I've been emotionally closed off or I haven't been allowing myself to be vulnerable in my masculine energy. I haven't been allowing myself to open up my heart space to be receptive in both my masculine and my feminine. I need to learn to really balance that, to enjoy my work, to enjoy the things I'm trying to create and build in the tangible. That's masculine vulnerability, right? Feminine vulnerability would be that nurturing motherly energy, right? Being open and receptive to receiving abundance and love and being in the present moment. Masculine builds and pushes. So it would be 
in regards to building and creating things in the tangible. This individual is coming forward if it's another person literally offering, hey, let's have a fresh beginning. Let's have a fresh start. Very genuinely, authentically communicating what they want, right? They want to break down that old foundation with the tower card there. They're saying, it's not working. This is what I really feel. This is the action I want to take. The page is the other person involved. They're being very methodical. They're being very practical. They're like, okay, well, this is what needs to end and this is where I want to go, right? Where I want to go is the star. I know I tapped the opposite cards. With the four swords in reverse, I feel like this is a pause between two people. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have to take time apart, but it is a need to focus on self. Yep, ten of wands and the knight of swords. The ten, it feels like this recluse, like I need to go within. There's a lot that's come up because of this conversation and I realize that I either have codependency, abandonment, rejection, narcissism, whatever it is within the ego of an individual that they need to address that was creating toxicity within self or this dynamic, okay? It's an aspect of the shadow, which makes sense because in July we have a lot of Chiron aspects that are um, playing a role. Chiron's the wounded healer. So it's going to bring to the surface anything that is stopping you from evolving into a higher version of self with the four of swords and the knight of swords in reverse knight of swords in reverse speaks to miscommunication also speaks to arguments and very uh, abrupt communication this could be you going deep in thought reflecting on previous conflict with other people that created this ton of wands this cycle that you're closing out it's the pause right it's the pause before we step into the new path i want to look at the two of swords Yep, there's the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords in reverse. So we do have a true pair, the King and Queen of Cups. I really like this. Very divine connections coming in. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to say any more on that. Um, yeah. Very divine connections coming in, but with the King of Swords in reverse, I feel like this is actually the masculine energy to the Queen's energy. For those of you who are dealing with another individual, I feel like this queen is struggling to articulate how they feel, right? So some of you are going to be really tested at this time to really open up from your feminine energy, to really open up and learn how to express and ask for the things that you want and crave in a very genuine, authentic way, not a defensive way, in a way that I am safe to, to say how I feel and ask for what I want in a very balanced way, okay? Let's look at the magician. It's actually for the two of wands. Sorry, I was staring at the two of wands, even though I said magician. We have the wheel of fortune, the seven of wands in reverse, and the six of cups. I really like that the wheel of fortune here is here. It's uh, changing paths. And it's because in the past, there was a lot of defensive blocked energy in regards to old cycles with the six of cups there. But it's also in regards to deep, intimate connections. Between the seven of wands and the two of wands is a five of wands energy. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of conflict. There's also a lot of resistance to actually fighting to overcome obstacles that came in the way. So if you had a habit of repeating cycles with certain people, it's because this lesson had to be learned and you're closing it out. You're closing out big lessons here. Whether this be a conversation with somebody else or just a sudden realization you're having within self. This is really nice. Let's look at magician because this is your personal power. Yeah, nine of cups. Ooh, some of you are doing the whole beating, beating yourself up because you didn't realize this sooner or you couldn't accept this aspect of yourself a little sooner. Yeah, knight of wands in reverse. You kept running from it. Or the person you were dealing with kept running from it. Then we have the queen of pentacles pop out on the bottom. Um, I like that. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, bottom of the deck. I like that the Queen of Pentacles came out because that speaks to having that sense of stability and confidence in oneself to go and create something that is tangible, that is practical, that is going to last the test of time. And you realize it's not the past, right? Realizing that this is an old energy. It's not something that I want to continue investing in. I want to embody a very stable, long-term, grounded, confident energy of a Queen of Pentacles. And lastly, I don't really feel a need, but I ended up there. Yep, there's the Soul Tribe. The Three of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Wands. Speaks to second chances of the Soul Tribe energy. The Three of Cups is actually in reverse because of the imbalance of these connections. Like I said, some of you, it's friends and family. It doesn't have to be romantic. I really think that majority of you, this is going on with other people as well as in yourself. It's going to be both. Because remember, we reflect what's going on in our world and vice versa. 
very very nice it's just second chances at these connections these relationships because they were too wishy-washy they weren't consistent and you need a sense of consistency and in order to have that consistency you need to have that stability in self as well as the stability in the in that dynamic and that means that both people need to find that stability of self but that comes with open communication and healing and in integrating that aspect of your shadow that is wounded whether it be codependency whether it be poor communication whether it be whatever you need to understand and heal within you okay a lot of codependency and narcissism is coming up in the collective right now because those two things kind of go hand in hand um so just be mindful of that right set boundaries don't be afraid to say no to people but understand that everybody's on their own path okay the aries this is what i have for you i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you want a personal reading or reiki session to dig into your own situation and your own relationships and dynamics book it down below check out patreon if you want a free 15 minute reading and i love you i wish you the best and i'll see you next time Bye bye